you guys an update on uh, my pepper plants. Um, first time when I was talking about uh, uh, putting some fertilizer in um, when you top them. So some of my topped plants, this is uh, now a couple weeks later. Um, this is the Santa Fe Grande, I believe. Yep, the Santa Fe Grande. And it looks really good. Um, it's doing well. It has bushed nicely. Um, this is the Cajun Bell. This one is doing awesome. I actually have my first little fruit uh, growing right there on the bottom, if you can see that. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about that. It's got little pods all over the place. So it's going to start, uh, start putting off peppers here very shortly. I'm really excited about the Cajun uh, Bell. Um, it, it, from everything I see, it's uh, kind of like a crossing between a habanero, um, kind of like a bell, um, but not really. So it's a little bit sweet, but I'm going to let them get super red so they get really hot because um, I like hot peppers. I love to eat raw jalapenos. So this is one of my, uh, I believe that's the Jalafuego plant. Yeah, so it's doing well um, since I topped it. It's doing good. Slow growth, but it's definitely bushed. This is my regular jalapeno plant. Um, since I topped it, you can see where I topped it down there, right in there, and it has shot up. Um, yeah, it's doing well. It looks like it's all about to start flowering at the top as well. So I'm gonna have jalapenos, regular ones, pretty soon too. But the one that I'm really excited about is that Cajun Bell. Um, it, uh, I should have bought a couple more of those, to be honest with you. I might even try cross-pollinating um, some of my jalapenos with the Cajun Bell and see how that turns out. Um, so yeah, and then I've got, uh, this is my one of my jalapenos since I topped it. It's doing really well. Um, the objective is to keep them shorter and bushier. This is just my regular bell pepper plant. Uh, as you can see, it's about to start flowering as well. So excited about all that. This is my habanero plant. Um, it actually was super bushy. It had like five different stalks. It was going nuts. So I actually cut uh, cut it. So it's got the V shape in there. So you got your regular one, but it's got this one shoot coming out to the side. That's actually really strong, and it did all that once I topped it. So that's going to be a pretty hardy plant, putting off a massive amount of habaneros, which I'm excited about. Um, this is my hot banana pepper plant. Um, yeah, nothing crazy about it, but you can see where I topped it. And it's done really well. Um, it's just bushing and doing its thing. Um, don't see any... Well, actually, I do see some little flower pods up there at the top. Looks like it's about to start here shortly, too. So, uh, everything looks like it's about to uh, start shooting off as far as uh, my peppers go. So, I'm excited about that. I'll make another video. Um, I'm about to uh, transplant the soil here in the next couple weeks, uh, put it all in fresh soil, but I'm gonna use the same soil as it did have. Um, so, yeah, and then I'm basically gonna change that out. And uh, so it's got fresh soil with all new nutrients in it um, for the peppering phase, for the fruits. I'm actually really excited about this one too, the Santa Fe Grande. Um, I've heard lots of good reviews on that plant as far as uh, the spiciness of the actual pepper. Um, not like a habanero, but uh, it's got a sweet first thought to it, and then uh, it's got a hot aftertaste, so I'm kind of excited about that too. So, two I'm really stoked about are this Cajun Bell and that Santa Fe Grande. Um, you know, I've also got about a hundred jalapeno seeds that I planted all around the yard, and they're all little baby plants, so I'm going to have about a hundred random jalapeno plants all around the yard. <laughs> So there will be no shortage of jalapenos this year for me. Um, but yeah, I won't have to buy any more, so that'll be pretty awesome. So uh, anyway, I try to keep this plant right here, uh, the citronella plant. I try to keep some of the bugs away from, uh, from my pepper plants. So far, it's doing pretty good. Um, I actually have uh, um, some other herbs down there on the lower part down here um, that keeps bugs away too. I might bring... Uh, um, those plants up here and put that as well with those but I haven't had any issues Daddy. with bugs so far so Daddy. so far so good so I hope you all have a blessed day I'll send another update on uh, the top pepper plants as soon as they start fruiting here shortly okay everybody have a blessed day